because you are definitely going to be making millies. Uh, you know, guys, sit down. Welcome to the show. Now, you guys are part of the... <laughs> <laughs> Sanjeev clearly enjoying that one over there. But anyway, welcome to Hectic 99 first of all and thank you for being here. And guys, you guys are part of the, you know, Maths Olympiad. You guys were part of the International Maths Olympiad which recently took place. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath <laughs> right now after that dance routine. Sanjeev, tell us what is a um, Maths Olympiad and what goes on there? Well, a maths Olympiad is pretty much a maths test, a big exam, um, except it's written over, well, this one specifically is written over two days. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nine-hour paper in total, four and a half hours in each day, and only three questions in each day. So that's six questions in total, and you have nine hours to work on it. So you can imagine that's quite a different thing than to your regular school maths exam. Okay, and how long are the, 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 the papers? I know that it's four hours, but, like, how many questions do you usually get in the paper, Tejan? Um, it depends how good your ability is. Uh -huh. Normally, we aim for one or two question a day, questions a day, and then the length of the proof can be as small as a um, few lines, about half a page, and it may go up until four to five pages for a single question. Awesome. Now, uh, Robin, how long does it take for one to get involved in something like the Inter International Maths Olympiad? Well, I mean, it's quite a process. Mm -hmm. So usually it'll take about a year and a half or even two years yeah. to, to get into something like this. Um, you can get in, there's a number of ways you can get in. You can get in with the South African Mass Olympiad, mm -hmm. uh, or there's uh, the talent search where you do assignments and you'd submit them. And then if you do well enough, you get invited to, to camps. So there's a Stellenbosch camp, uh, which is held in December, the end of every year. And if you do well in that, then you can do what we call monthly assignments, where you send assignments every month, and then if you do well in that, there's usually a camp in April, and then the top six from that April camp is selected uh, to be in the International Maths Olympiad. Wow, so that's a lot of maths, eh? It's a lot of maths that you have to go through in order to be able to be selected for that kind of thing. Now, you've seen a lot of, a lot of kids in high schools, and uh, especially in high schools, because, you know, that's when you get introduced to, like, algebra and all these other things. They get very intimidated by something like maths, you know? Uh, what are the ways that one could, you know, take look at it and be like, you know what, this is not going to intimidate me. Yeah, well, I think there's a common misconception in South Africa that maths is really hard. Mm. But it, it is difficult, but it's, it's not v extremely difficult. It's, it's doable. You can solve the problems. You just need to try hard. You're not going to uh, solve the problem on your first try. You probably won't even do it in the right way. But if you try and you learn from your mistakes, you'll eventually get the questions. Awesome stuff. Now, also, uh, Bronson over there, like, in terms of making mistakes, you know, like, because Yasin mentioned mistakes and stuff like that. Do you guys ever make mistakes? Because I'm sure that a lot of people think that you guys have to be perfect all the time and all of that. Yeah, well, we often make mistakes. I mean, mistakes is kind of part of our job as mathematicians. You can only get a question after, say, making 41 mistakes. And yeah. then on the 42nd try, you realize, okay, maybe this approach will work. And then we get the question. So we basically just learn from our mistakes. The things that don't work, we learn don't work. And then next time we have a question, we're more likely to get it right uh, on one of the earlier mm. tries. And, yeah. Awesome. Now, Sanjeev, I've heard, it, uh, I've heard that you guys need to find creative ways of solving maths problems. How can you put creativ creativity and maths in the same light? Well, most people think that, like, maths and creativity don't go together. Maths is pure logic, and creativity is all the art you do and the fun stuff. Uh. Well, maths Olympiads especially use a lot of creativity. You have to approach an, a, prob a problem in a very creative way. It's not just working out with what you know. You spend a lot of your time in the Olympiad thinking of creative ways to do a problem and different approaches, like I said. So um, creativity is an incredibly important part for a person who w wants to participate in a maths Olympiad. So I think we should test your creativity right now, okay? I think that we need to come up with a song about Maths Olympiads. So you're going to give us a line, and then you're going to give us a line, and then you're going to give us a line, and then you're going to give us a line, and then you're going to give all of us a line. I tried to do an Oprah there, just in case you didn't know. Was, was it a good rendition? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll give you guys a beat. I'll give you guys a beat. Okay. Uh, uh, maths can be really fun. 42 is the best number. <laughs> Math Olympiads for the win, yo. <laughs> you need creativity and inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> you may not get it on the first try, but try again. <laughs> oh, I think we've got a hit. I think we've definitely got a hit in that one. You know, we're going to double up and we're going to make a million. I think we should release a song. How do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah. I think five's all around. How's that? Yes, we are definitely oh. going with it. Anyway, it is time.